Our 32 verses are 410A, Showdown, A Clash of Refrigerant Agents. Welcome to this thrilling video, where we'll pit two refrigerant substances against each other, R32, and R410A. Which of these two will emerge as the champion? Join us on this joint exploration. Let's start by stating, that R410A is a blend of two gases, in contrast to R32 refrigerant, which is an unadulterated gas composed, of a single element. R410A, is predominantly comprised of R32, and R125, in an equitable proportion of 50%, for each component. On the other hand, R32, being an unadulterated gas, can be charged in either liquid or gaseous state. In contrast, R410A, being a mixture of two gases, must be recharged exclusively in liquid phase. Both refrigerant agents, R32 and R410A, operate with PO-grade oil. However, due to the presence of R125 in R410A, the latter demonstrates greater miscibility with PO oil, compared to R32. This indicates that R410A blends more easily, benefiting the return of PO oil, to the compressor in the refrigeration system. This necessitates adjustments to the viscosity of PO oil in many R32 compressors, aiming to enhance the return of PO oil in comparison to its viscosity, when working with R410A. R32, exhibits a higher temperature at the compressor outlet, compared to R410A. Therefore, it is crucial to work in the presence of R32, with high viscosity PO oils, ensuring greater viscosity stability as temperature changes. Now, let's focus on performance. R32, boasts greater cooling capacity, compared to R410A, both in cooling and heating. This implies that a smaller amount of gas, is required to achieve the same level of cooling and heating. Furthermore, it's imperative to consider the environmental impact. The global warming potential GWP of R410A is 2085, while the GWP of 32 South African Rand is 675. This highlights that R32 has a lesser environmental footprint in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. At this juncture, let's address safety. Although R32 is flammable, its flammability level is moderate compared to hydrocarbon refrigerants, like propane. Consequently, 32 South African Rand is categorized as a mildly flammable refrigerant, maintaining stringent safety standards. In summary, R32 shines as a refrigerant agent of higher efficiency, in both cooling and heating, when compared to R410A. Its lower GWP and controlled flammability make it an appealing choice for air conditioning systems. Given that the miscibility of R32 with PO oil is lower compared to R410A, it's strongly recommended to strictly follow the installation guidelines provided by the equipment manufacturer to ensure no impact on the return of oil to the compressor. On the screen we have the table of pressure and temperature of the refrigerant gas R400 Tina. Although the table shows us two pressures, one for dew and the other for steam, since the sliding of this gas is very low, the difference between both pressure values is negligible. In this case we are going to work with the vapor pressure. For an evaporator temperature of 5 degrees C or 41 degrees F, typical of an air conditioner, the gauge pressure at this point is required to be 8.27 bars or 121.63 psi. For an outdoor environment temperature of 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit and considering that the condenser temperature on average exceeds the ambient value by 10 degrees C, then the condenser temperature is 40 degrees C or 104 degrees S. Looking in the table, for this temperature value, the condenser pressure, or high, has a value of 22.63 bars or 332.75 psi. When it is necessary to know the pressure of the equipment when it is turned off with the value of the outside temperature the pressure value is searched in the table. In this way for 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. According to the table, 
the equipment pressure at rest is 17.50 bar or 257.28 psi. E. For an evaporator temperature of 5 degrees C, the pressure gauge on an Arthur T2 air conditioner should read about 129 psi. E. The high pressure of an air conditioner that works with Arthur T2 for an outdoor ambient temperature of 30 degrees Celsius should mark close to 350 PSI. And there you have it. The battle between the R32 and R410 comes to an end. Now it is your turn to decide which of these refrigerant gases best suits your needs. Leave us your comments and subscribe to our channel.